the Barbadians. A lot for their association to think to think about after the 2024 Charybda Games. Jamaica, once again, another dominant performance. Bermuda in six. And Trinidad and Tobago will close out this field in lane number seven. Will not quite close it out because there will be Turks and Caicos as well. Trinidad and Tobago. They'll be quite pleased with what they have achieved here in Grenada ahead of their own staging of the Carifta Games. 4x400 on the 17 girls final coming up. We're counting down four races to come. All four by fours. This is where we start. Always exciting the relays. You start by hoping there will be no disqualifications and that all will be clean. Less of uh, an issue in the 4x4s where the pass is a little bit safer. Quartet of Jasmine Thompson, Alexis Roberts, Alexandria Kumulafi, high jump medalist Kiesra Thomas, fourth in the high jump. Very, very busy weekend for her. Barbados. I just want to make a quick point. I thought the qualifying standard for the high jump at the World Under 20 Championships was 2.15. It is actually 2.13. So, what Chavez Penn achieved in the Under 20 Boys final here is the qualifying standard so that explained why he didn't need to continue in the high jump because he had attained the world under 20 standard with that 338.09, the championship record set in 2009 by Jamaica. That record actually going down last year. 334.43. Brown, Daly, Gallimore, and Lewis winning in that time in the Bahamas. Very much so. Yeah, 334.43, the record set last year by the Jamaicans. Fine team in the Bahamas. Let's go through the field. Trinidad and Tobago in lane number seven. Bermuda will start in lane number six. 
They have Amaris Munia on the opening leg. Grenada on the inside in lane number one. Looks like Amaya Chandler who is leading off for them. On your mats. The Bahamas in two. We did see Heidel going under 334 earlier this year, champs. But that team, of course, not entirely under 17. Off they go. 4.4 final for under 17 girls. Grenada, Bahamas, St. Lucia, Barbados, Jamaica, Bermuda, Trinidad and Tobago, and Turks and Caicos Islands. The Jamaicans have gone out well. Britannia Bailey on the opening leg for them. She flies through 200 meters. Trinidad and Tobago moving well in lane number 72. Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago showing best of all as they go through 300 on this first leg. Barbados, Bahamas, and Bermuda all battling for the bronze medal. Still early days in this final. Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago just behind Jamaica. And the Jamaicans fly away on the second leg with the 400 champion, Nastasia Fletcher. Won the 400 hurdles as well. Double champion here at Carifta. Bahamas going really well on this second leg. Alexis Roberts there for the Bahamas. Well, she is well behind Nastasia Fletcher and, the, and Jamaica at this stage. Alexis Roberts in the 200 final for Bahamas. Daniel Skeet as well making up ground for Barbados. Jamaica well clear. Bahamas right there with them. A fine race ensuing here. I think it's Kevin Gay Fowler, the 800 champion, is it, who is on this leg for Jamaica, but the Bohemians flying. Jasmine Thompson takes over the lead. 200 ah. meters to go on this leg. At least momentarily. The Jamaicans open the gap once again. Battle on for third place as well. Trinidad and Tobago joining Barbados. Jamaica in front. Hand over to Trisha Lee Sutherland. Sutherland in the 400 final for under 17 girls. Here she is anchoring her country. And even with 200 meters to go, it looks as if it will be gold. The Bahamas in second position. Trinidad and Tobago in third. They are setting up well for their hosting of Carifta, Trinidad and Tobago. But Jamaica dominant again. They want to sweep the 4x4 relays. They didn't do it at 4x1. And this is a fabulous way to start. They won't get the record. Trisha Lee Sutherland, though, well clear of the rest. Jamaica win gold in the under-17 girls 4x4s. Hands aloft, Bahamas silver, and it's Barbados with the bronze. Trinidad and Tobago finishing in fourth. 
Fine race from the Bajans. They were well tested by Trinidad and Tobago for that bronze medal. Managing to pull it out. But up front, of course, the Bahamas, Jamaica. A little bit of back and forth. But Jamaica, with one and a half laps remaining, settled their hash. First 4 by 4 final of 2024. First final in the last set of events. Barbados bronze, 349, 68 for them. Delight hasn't been the best Carifta games, but this is a nice way for them to get to the close. Bahamas with silver. Looks like Kiesra well, Thomas uh, finally is tired. Well, after high jump, <laughs> 400, 200, and now 4x4. Four four. I think she was on the 4x1 team as well. On the 4x1 four team as well. Wow. The Jamaicans celebrate gold. Next, the boys are four by four, under 17. But here you see Team Jamaica pulling away for victory in the four by four, under 17 girls. Fowler, Sutherland, Fletcher, Bailey. 341.84 unbothered unperturbed team jamaica coming through for the win ahead of bahamas and barbados trisha lee, trisha lee sutherland anchoring the jamaicans glory moment here we go with the confirmed results 341.84 for jamaica 347-13 for Silver, Bahamas. 349-68 for Bronze, Barbados. Trinidad and Tobago, fourth. 354-49 ahead of Grenada, Bermuda, St. Lucia. Turks and Caicos did not start, actually. 